hello everybody, how are you doing today? Hello. I brought a friend along today because this story needs needs a bit of help. Do you want to introduce yourself there? Hi, I'm Dora. Oh, some of you won't remember, but Dora helped us out ages ago. She was the woman in the well. There was lots of running in that episode, wasn't there? There really was. And there was a song, but we're not going to do the song today. Yeah, no That's singing. And the reason I brought Dora along was that the story this week is about Mary, who's a girl person, and Joseph, who's a boy person. And for this, I'm going to pretend to be a bit of Joseph. And I'm going to be Mary. But we're not actually Mary and Joseph, because yeah. we're kind of puppets and things like that. It was a long time ago. But if you remember what happened last week, and we're going to disappear a little bit into a smaller bubble. Oh, here we go. And... Last week was all about Mary and Joseph hearing things and having dreams. And this week is all about us going on a big journey. Oh, yeah. Remember that big journey, Mary? Oh, absolutely. How could I forget? And you had to go all the way from Nazareth to Jerusalem and then over to Bethlehem. And look at how bumpy that road is. It was very bumpy. Well, because... <laughs> We didn't have, like, sat nav or anything like that then. We don't know exactly the route that Mary and Joseph take, but we know it was quite long. And this is the story about why they did it. But remember last week, the start of the whole trouble was this boy. Can you remember that? Oh, yes. I remember him. What was his name again? Uh, I think it began with a G. <laughs> Gabriel? Yeah, you'd think it'd be pretty unforgettable if somebody arrives. <laughs> but never, never one for names, were you, Mary? No, no, <laughs> really tricky. That is very tricky, isn't it? And he said, you're going to have a baby. And you went... Yeah, no, that I remember. You, you probably went, yeah, what? Oh, my goodness. You're kidding. And not only that, he said, he's going to be a really important baby. He's going to be a king. Now, probably yeah, this is the sort of king you were thinking about. And he wasn't really that type of king. Yeah. But that comes a bit later. And you're like, golly gosh. And who's this? I think that might be you, Joseph. That's right. That's Joseph. And what did Joseph do for a living? Well, in that picture, it looks like he's on his mobile phone, but I think, actually, he was a carpenter. I agree. It does look like he's on his mobile phone, but he looks as if he's pondering a lot. He was probably pondering a lot that you were having a baby, and actually that was impossible. And he's kind of wondering what to do. Yeah, a lot to think about. But the pose is very much the looking at the phone. But anyway, he had a dream as well. There was loads of dreams going on at that point. And he had a dream. And the dream went, you know what? She's brilliant, Mary. She's going to have the most important baby in the history of, like, forever. And you've totally to get married to her. And so did we get married? Yes, we did. And it was brilliant fun. There was party. And look, can you see the confetti? That was really good. Oh, it was so good. And you remember the holidays. And when you were older, you were really big on weddings. I do like a wedding. And I remember you went with Jesus once. Your oh, boy. Oh yeah, and something amazing happened at that wedding too. Yeah, you were you were really good. What did you what did you what did you encourage Jesus to do? I think it was turning water into wine. It certainly was. And that was good. That was another good wedding. A lot of good weddings in the Bible. So we had a wedding and but oh my goodness, do these look like good guys? Not really. The Romans were in charge and that was completely miserable. And they made us do amazing things. And at one point, can you remember what they made us do? The Emperor Augustus sent a big letter out of everybody and he said... I think it was the census. Do you know what a census is? It sounds a bit like something you sneeze. Census! No. Try again. Uh, it must be a counting thing then. It is a counting thing. Yeah. And they were probably... What did you want with the counting then? Not cheap. No, not sheep. Try again. Because that was a sleepy, dreamy bit. Uh, counting sheep. No, sheep is great. not sheep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I was probably counting people then. That's right. They and it wasn't very nice. All the people. And the reason they counted all the people was to work out how much tax everybody had to pay. Mm. Well, very nice. When we count people now, we do it for all sorts of reasons. But then basically it's to see how many people you could tax. And you know what the absolute kicker was? The absolute kicker was that you had to, you had to log yourself in the town in which you were born. Goodness. And the town of my parents was blooming Bethlehem. Bethlehem's miles away. You think, away. you think Aberdeen's a long way away? No way. Bethlehem's so much further. 
and we didn't have sat nav and we didn't have a car and you were kind of maybe not that keen because you were like 120 weeks pregnant by that point <laughs> yes not keen it's a long way and that's a very bumpy road oh i know um any chance you would walk it <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> really with a baby no Oh, I remember that. So I hunted and I hunted and I hunted and I eventually found a really good mode of transport. I found a donkey. Doesn't she look impressed? No. Well... Very bumpy road. Very bumpy road. Very, very uncomfortable bumpy, bumpy. donkey. Even the donkey <laughs> doesn't look impressed because you're huge at this point. So we go running. We go and there's a few other people going with us and we're just bumping for a while. And she looks like... You know, that picture of you back there looks like you're not having a great day, does it? It was a very, very long journey. And Did I mention like it was a bumpy road? A bumpy road. And he doesn't look <laughs> like he's having a great day either. But eventually we get there. And we get to Bethlehem and the lights are still on. And I remember you saying to me... Did you remember to book a room? <gasps> oh no, I totally forgot to book a room. Oh, why is the Airbnb where you want it? Oh, 2,000 years away as Airbnb and booking things on your phone. And oh my goodness. Oh, it, it did look a bit busy, didn't it? There was a lot of people there. Oh, and Bethlehem's not really a particularly big town. So in I went, knocking on doors. And if I knocked on one door, I knocked on 20 doors. And they all said, No room. No room. And I'm like going, but I've got like this woman and she's going to have a baby like in 30 minutes. You know, she does look quite sweaty. And is there any possible way? And they all went, no, 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 no. Until this guy says. And I went back and I went, Mary, we're totally sorted. Yay. This innkeeper says he's got a place that you can go. We can go. And it's got a really good view of the night sky. And it's got air conditioning. And Sounds actually, good. there's pets as well. There's not many we've got pets. Wow. I was really trying to sell it. She Getting excited. Place. And, I, and I, <laughs> I went there and it was, it was. you've got to use your imagination when you see this place. Okay, Mary. Okay, okay. don't go completely spare. Now I'm left with a bit more. more it's a stable way. Oh, what were you thinking? <laughs> I this was is not thinking, hygienic. I was thinking, we've been walking all day, and you know what? I could sleep on concrete. Well, at least there's straw. And the animals look quite happy, don't they? They do. I think we're going to be it just might be cosy. So, next week for the thrilling episode of What Happens Next. Go so, on. what we're going to do now is we're going to say goodbye, and then you're going to find out what happened next week, okay? Right. Okay. And it's been great speaking to you all. And I hope you're all looking forward to Christmas and doing your Christmas cards and things. It's exciting. It's very exciting. Okay. Nice so, to meet you. Nice Bye. Bye.